Hi, hello, how are you, YouTube? You're back. Uh, we've got another episode here of our Shining Pearl playthrough. I'm live on Twitch, LiamLive23. Uh, make sure you go and follow me there. Check it out so that you can see it all live. Uh, in our last episode, we went through Eterna Forest and took on uh, the gym leader, Gardenia, here for our Grass Gym Badge. Um, so, a quick little recap of our team here. We've got our Fainted Luxio at level 23. He tried his heart out. Excuse me. And we've got Grottle on level 24. So, let's start to make our way onto our next section, which is where I think we got to go and save the old bike shop owner. We're going to head up here, cut down some trees. Of course, I'd like to cut it. See, Bidoof, again, it's not like a Bidu or any... Oh, I don't know what can use cut. But, any items around here? No, 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 no. Okay, back over this side. There is one over here, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it'd be kind of funny if they just have Bidoof do it for every single one. I'm kind of here for that. Can it learn Waterfall? No, it can learn Surf. On we go. Um, okay, who do we want out front? I think we want to put our Grottle back in the front. And what we'll do is we'll give another Orenberry back to Luxio because we don't have uh, an item that really is suited for him just yet. All right, plenty of my obnoxious galactic voice is going to be coming up. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? Are you not? Then kindly fuck off. Thank you very much. Do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop? That was a bit rude of him, wasn't it? We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking and you will not be tolerated. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children. Okay, jeez, you don't have to be fucking rude about it, but alright. Okay, let's... Should we... Let's try and think of a, a question of the day for this one. Okay? What is your... What's your favourite, or who do you think is the best and most powerful... Uh, evil bad guy team over the over the different games. Who do you reckon? I, I actually kind of like Team Galactic. And with Legends Arceus coming out, getting to find out more lore about maybe how they were developed and got their name and stuff, um, that looks kind of cool. So, you know, Team Galactic would certainly be up there for me. Um, we got Team Rocket, obviously, which is a good one. You know, they stick it out the whole way. Uh, I know Jesse and James are like a bit of a joke. But, like, them as a whole, you know, their team actually is, you know, kind of solid, the way that they work. Uh, there's what? Who else is there? Um, uh, there's Team Aqua and Magma. In Ruby and Sapphire. There's... Um... Da -da -dum -dum -dum. I'm trying to think of others. Team Flare. Team Skull. There's lots. I'm forgetting a couple in there, I know. Um, what's the ones with the with N and gets us and things? Team, um, I don't know. Then there's the Ether Foundation as well, which were a bit of a tricky, tricky group. Yeah, that's it. Question of the day, mostly for YouTube comments. Um, if anyone would like to comment, what's your, who do you think is the best um, and most formidable evil team um, throughout each game. That could be my question of the day. I should like write it down somewhere, you know, but I'm not that organized. I can be organized, but not that organized. Oh, look. This is uh, giving me some Squid Game vibes. Anyone? Anyone? Squid Game vibes here? You know what I'm talking about. Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I am a dummy. In a system. 
Good work, Grottle. Rolling through them. Rolling through them. Easy stuff. Very nice. What was I fighting for again? I think I lost the voice on that one. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some little weakling. I like Gleesopod and I like uh, Araquanid. There's probably a couple others. Scizor, Heracross. Um, they're both nice. But generally, not much of a bug guy myself. And the guy that I watch A-Drive um, on YouTube for a lot of my Pokemon content uh, is all bugs. He's like the bug man. If you want any bug Pokemon content, go see him. Like, literally right now, his YouTube series that he's doing, um, he's doing Brilliant Diamond and he does a bug-only playthrough. Um, and it's like half Nuzlocked. It's a bit different. Um, but yeah, he's all about the bugs. What's your... If you could be a gym leader and you had to pick a type, or an Elite Four member, and you had a type, what's your type, Mr. Munns? What's your type? I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. I mean, I'll tell you mine anyway. Uh, I, I would be Dragon type. I know, that's probably, like, very... Uh, what's the word? Standard? Sheep-like? I don't know, I just like... I really like dragons. For a while, it would be Psychic type. Um, and I tend to pick the Grass type starters more. Um, so, you know, it could lean that way a bit as well. But yeah, I'd say if I had to pick one, Dragon. A Ghost Man. Ah, yeah, well, the Chandelure, that, that fits. That makes sense. But yeah, I just think Sableye needs to evolve into something. I see it more as like a... I played the Mystery Dungeon games, and in that game, it's like a minion type Pokemon. Like, there's lots of them. They don't do a lot of damage. Um, not so much of a formidable foe. Golurk is nice. Dusk Noir, that's probably my favourite ghost type, I think. Dusk Noir. Big Dusk Noir fan. Because I love those extra evolutions. Dusk Noir is going to be in my Diamond playthrough. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. These people, man. Alright, can I do a nerdy version of that voice? Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our bar- I don't know, that's fucking terrible. I give up. I'm not doing that again. Age of Slash, that's nice. Um, Rowlet, uh, Decidueye, yeah. I reckon, keep an eye out on uh, Legends Arceus. I think there's no way that they stick with those starter evolutions to be standard. I reckon they're going to have regional forms, for sure. Um, so, like, Rowlet is definitely not going to be Decidueye. Or it will be Decidueye, but it'll be, you know, um, Hisuian Decidueye. So it might not be ghost type. I don't think it actually will be ghost type. I think it'll be grass and something else. Maybe fighting type, potentially. But yeah, I think... Because they haven't shown those evolutions yet. So I think that they're definitely going to be something new. It'll be interesting to see what they go with. And because that's probably going to determine which one I pick. Is what the final evolutions are. So... Excuse me, lady. No, not you, Clefairy. I don't... Uh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask you want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's going to happen. Bit of sarcasm there. Ooh. Commander Jupiter. One of these commanders has the same hair and look as one of the, like, keepers in the Legends Arceus stuff that's been released so far. Um, you know, those special Pokemon, they're getting, like, there's someone who's attached to them as, like, their protector. Um, one of them has the same hairstyle as one of the commanders. I think it might be Mars. Uh, and, and a lot of those are confirmed to be, like, ancestors of modern-day characters. 
Um, and a lot of the people that I saw making YouTube videos about it didn't didn't pick up on that one. They picked up on like heaps of others that I didn't get. Um, but definitely there was one that had like reddish orange hair in like a bowl cut type look. Definitely an ancestor. And it's from this region, you know. Oh, Skuntank. I feel like I should, I want, I want to like Skuntank as a Pokemon, but I just don't. Skuntank also played the antagonist in the uh, one of the Mystery Dungeon games. I really like Mystery Dungeon games. Are you a fan of those at all? Any spin-offs that you're... Spin-off Pokemon games that you're keen on? Have you played any at all? I, I really like the Mystery Dungeon games, I will admit. Um, and then obviously there's Pokemon Stadium. He just threw a fucking flamethrower at me. Wow, Grottle. Alright. I'm going to have to swap Grottle out because I'd like him to get some levels. Let's see how Luxio goes. Probably not much better, to be honest. Uh, but I was going to play through it myself again, but I've already played through it a bunch. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of the Mystery Dungeon games. I wish they would do more. There's probably, I think, one of them that I didn't play. Uh, and I don't know if I finished the other on DS. I bought it, but I don't think I finished it. Um, best one, though, is, like, Explorers of Time. Um, I, I really liked that one. Uh, mostly just because I like the fourth region. I like Sinnoh region the best. I think it's got the best Pokemon. Um, most interesting stuff. I really like the designs. I'm definitely uh, a fan of Gen 4. So, Explorers of Time, there was Darkness and... Uh, yeah, it was Time and Darkness, I think. And then Explorers of Sky was like the Platinum for Diamond and Pearl. You know, you know what I mean. Oh, Oh, and it's paralyzed, that's good. So if Grottle comes back out. Uh, now in... In these battles, my rules don't apply. Right? So like, if I want to keep reviving him and healing him, that's not, not a problem in these battles. Even for slightly higher ones like this, where it's more of a boss battle. Um, yeah, they're no issue for me. I can do whatever I want in these battles. It's just the gym... Gym battles, Elite Four, things like that, uh, that I'll be sticking to my, my rule set of using the same amount of Pokemon and using just one medicine item. These ones, not such a big deal. Oh no, Grottle died after taking it out and didn't get any XP. Oh man. Grottle didn't get any XP on the Perugly either. I'm having a bit of a run of bad luck here. Our official Pokemon step. No, I've got to do the voice. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing, though. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will rule Sinnoh. I suggest you leave us the fuck alone from now on. Get out. I ad-libbed a little bit there. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you, but god, that fucking Team Galactic, man. They said Clefairy came from space, handed over. Ridiculous. The logic baffles me. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now, so thank you very much, my dear friend. I cannot thank you enough, but cruise by my cycle shop, buddy, alright? And I'll give you a little, uh, little something-something. Alright, well that's obviously where we're going next. To get our bicycle. Thanks for rescuing me, I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike, hey? Just d take a bike, please. Alright, I'll get a bike. Where are we going? Your bike store is here. Oh, we can pick a colour. Blue, red, yellow, green. No purple available? I'm more of a purple guy myself. Um, blue is the closest to purple, so I'll go with a blue bike. Thank you very much. 
Do you want a blue bike? I mean, I'd like a purple bike, but sure. A dignified blue. Almost like you can see the bubbles. Oh, it was by types. I should have picked green for Bulbasaur, but oh well. And Turtwig. That's strange. Liam! Long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You have no idea who I am. Uh, I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. I've come a long way at the behest of the Professor to help you on your adventure. Liam, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Tell me off the top of your head right now. Oh my, you've met 42 Pokemon. Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan would be, uh, should be delighted. Um, he's not a very easy man to please, that old Rowan. Here is something for you. I'll, you can never have too many rare candies. I'll, I'll absolutely take that and suck one down. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. We'll make our way down the bike road and then we'll try and find our next Pokemon to catch. Hopefully we don't need strength for it. Oh, hello, sir. Yo! Having a good time cycling? Yeah, bruh. Cyclist Axel. Man, that voice fit perfectly then, didn't it? Yo! Man, I hate when they use double team. That's such, such an annoying move. Um, yeah, so underneath this bike road is a cave which leads you to Gibble. Now, in that cave, you do need to use Flash. Um, or at least you did need to use Flash back in the day. I don't know how that's going to work in this one. I don't really want to teach anyone Flash. Um, obviously, I can give it to Luxio. I can probably find one of the Mythicals to learn it, I suppose. Um, but it's not a HM, which is the thing. So, I'm not sure how it'll work. I think it'll just be a normal move that you have to have on someone to then use. I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll work like the HM system, where a random Pokemon just rocks up and uses it. But we'll take it out. Show it what for. Give him one. Excellent. Good stuff. Grotto 25, Luxio to 24, very good, very nice. Uh, I don't want to learn Roar. I forget what Roar does, it either lowers your attack or it knocks the Pokemon out. I, not knocks them out, it, you know, makes them switch, I forget. Either way, I think I'm okay. I'm okay with using the experience share because... Um, essentially all it does just means that you don't have to grind against wild Pokemon so much, which I'm fine with. Um, although some people like to do that. Uh, but yeah, just please, easy, medium, hard. That's all you would need. And it could be the AI has more Pokemon, uh, better strategies, stronger moves... Like, that's all it would need to be, you know? I wish they would also implement the rules that I have, where in gym battles, it's like, alright, this gym is a... You've got to, the gym The gym leader's using three Pokemon, so you need to pick three of yours. Um, and then they'll, like, take them off you or something, or just make them unusable, you know? Restrict me in, in that way. Don't just make me make my own rules, you know? Like a Nuzlocke. The fact that, like, I know ROM hacks have it in, you know, you can put Nuzlocke mode on. And I know a lot of people don't use that and they just enforce the Nuzlocke themselves so they can do it exactly the way that they like. But, you know, a simple thing like that. Have a Nuzlocke mode. I feel like they... I, now, I have no idea how to develop a game. I have zero knowledge. It could be impossible to do, maybe. But I feel like it. it they should be able to... They should be capable of doing that. The money that they have... Um, I think other games from other companies do more than than what Pokemon does in that regard. So, anyway. That's my 
one of my many Pokemon rants. There's a lot I would change about the game. But having said that, I also love it. So, you know, you can't complain too much, can you? Last one. Last cyclist. Here we go. I love my bike, but I'm not very good at fixing flat tires. Hey, you and me both. You and me both. I don't think I've ever fixed a flat tire myself. I haven't ridden a bike in fucking 10 years plus. Hey, first Pikachu of the game. Something looks off with its texture. It looks like... I don't know, doesn't something look off about that Pikachu? It looks like kind of pale or something. This looks a bit strange. It's not as like vibrant. And it just kind of looks flat. I don't know, I, it's hard to explain. Alright, that is cycling, cyclist road, bike road, whatever it's called, completed. And we'll make our way on to hopefully catching our next Pokemon. Hopefully. I would hope it's not walled off by, uh... Hey, I'll take that. I hope it's not walled off by strength. But, there is every possibility that it is. Alright. Alright. Um, no, let's go and heal up first, because we should be able to... Oh, no. Oh, I thought we were going to have a battle against our, our friend, and uh, Grottle is in a bit of strife. Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, complete shit. But this isn't about me. I, I, I've got something nice for you. Liam, choose which hand? Uh, right hand. I don't know if that looks left on the camera. Ah, I see you want the Versus Seeker, of course. My left hand was also Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Liam. You know what's important. You put the Versus Seeker. Is it VS or Versus Seeker? I always said Versus Seeker. You can find trainers who want a rematch with you. Oh, Liam, do you also have a Poketch? You know, that watch thing I... Oh, you do. Well, you can have this too then. You deserve it all for your hard work. You obtain the, you obtain the dowsing machine. That is nice. I do I do like a good douse. Inside dark caves. Well, there you go. Dark caves. That's where we're heading next. It's not that part of the bridge, is it? It's the the next part, I think. Anything down here that we missed? No. Awesome. We'll continue on then. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, Bind is up there back in the day with like some of the most annoying moves Because I think early on like Pokemon Stadium time That if you got hit with a bind or a fire spin that you couldn't attack Either so like it would bind you up and you couldn't do anything So it would just very slowly kill you every turn and you couldn't do anything So odd. I'm glad that they've changed things like that. Um, now I think there's a cave back here, but I don't think this is the Gibble Cave. I think that there's a different one. Right? Or am I wrong? Maybe I'm dumb. Pokemon. Flash. Let's get off this bike and we'll make our way around. Hello, boys. Um, but we will maybe do a little bit of an underground adventure before we finish. We can end, maybe end today's stream by going underground for a minute or two. How does that sound? And we hit him with a spark, hey? Eh? Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard from Mew. Mew, I, I had that on Gallade in, in Sword and Shield. I'm going to have it on Mew in this one. Um... False swipe and probably putting it to sleep or something. Maybe hypnosis or uh, a paralyzing move, something like that. But yeah, it'll be my uh, legendary catcher, Mew Will. So that's also why I'm giving it some levels as well. By having it on the team, but not like actually on the team, you know. 
Hello, hello everyone. Hush now, lost little Pokemon. Don't, I don't want to sing that. I had a uh, Zoroark that was like full EV IVs, like perfect, and I wanted to get a shiny of it because I love Zoroark. I probably opened, I probably hatched like 200 or something eggs and didn't get one, which is not like, obviously 200 is not actually that much. Um, but it was still a while and didn't get one. I was a bit bummed out. My, my first shiny I ever saw, actually, in a game was a shiny snow runt out in the wild, full odds. Uh, and I killed it. I, did, I had no idea in the moment. I was like, no, nah, it looks a bit odd. And then just fucking killed it. And then I thought back. I was like, I think that was a shiny. Oh, man. There's two, two ways to go. I don't know which one to do. This way. Good. First encounter, that's insane. For a Verizion, that's decent. I, uh, my A Drive guy that I mentioned on YouTube, he, as well as being like a heavy bug focus, is heavy shiny focus. He does a lot of shiny hunting. And when you shiny hunt as many Pokemon as he does, he, uh, obviously is going to run into the occasional, like, crazy shiny one. He had a, he, he does a bunch of shiny hunts and he had a first encounter Palkia, I think, which was the first, of obviously the first one, first encounter, but he had just caught a shiny and was starting his next hunt. So he got back to back shinies on two encounters. That's pretty cool. Um, I had a shiny Cottony while I was shiny hunting my Zor Zoroark, Zoroark out of the eggs. I got a shiny cottony randomly from something. Um, and there was a method back in the day where you could shiny hunt something. Usually people use Magikarp because it was the lowest amount of steps to hatch an egg. And then you could uh, shiny hunt all the way to get a Magikarp, reset it so that you knew how many eggs it would take. Uh, and then change the Pokemon over because on the fifth egg of whatever this thing was, was going to be a shiny no matter what. I don't exactly know the details, but... Um, people used to use that method to shiny hunt, and so I got this shiny Cottony randomly while I was getting a Zoroa, um, and was like, oh, I can do the thing and I'll change it over. So I like reset my game made it a Zoroa that was going to hatch on that number egg instead uh, and then it didn't hatch as a shiny and then the cottony hatched and came back like it did and that wasn't shiny either so <laughs> I ended up with no shinies but I did have a shiny cottony on there and then reset the game to try and work it into be a Zoroa shiny and got neither of them shiny so there's a lesson in that you know Oh, hey. This is not how I remember this room going. I thought she was somewhere else. It's going to be annoying. Alright, we'll fight these guys, then we'll go back and we'll fight the other ones, and then we can make our way back out. It should be alright. And then we'll quickly check out that Gibble Tunnel. Try to plan out, like, how to make this good. Nothing's going to be as good as that last episode for a while, where we faced the gym leader, and then eventually overcame it. That was a good underdog story, that one. But That was like something out of the anime. You didn't have a single Pokemon I wanted. You're no collector. What do you mean? I got fucking three mythicals on my team. Your awesome power. It's mystifying. Excellent. Oh, is there an item down here? Yes. A teeny mushroom. Over this way. With these guys. Yeah. Man, I, I totally could have, like, not seen her at all. Back in that back corner of the cave. Meditite and a Buizel. I do, I do like Buizel more and more over the years. Back in the day, I wasn't overly keen on it, but I, I like Floatzel now. Um, I, I heavily, heavily considered using Floatzel in my playthrough on here. Because I'm not going to end up with a water type. 
I don't think. Uh, in a TM. He's a ground type, so he should learn it, right? Also, Kadabra's doing very well. You're a solid tag team partner, buddy. That wasn't any fun. Not fair, we're not on the same level. That is, that's kind of like a classic story of when you like skip an early game trainer and then come back with a fucking god Pokemon at the end. Yes. Oh, we made it. Excellent stuff. Look at that. Oh, there's the exit. I, I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Liam, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, it's in here somewhere. I think, right? Yes, here it is. And, yeah, you're right. It's strength, strength, strength. Damn. Damn, 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 da diddly, damn, damn, hey? Alright, we'll make our way back up and around to the old chateau to finish off, hey? Okay. Let's get off the bike. Yes. Let's head into the spooky cave. It's not a cave, it's a... Oops, I wanted to get that Pokeball. Let me go back, sorry. My bad. I meant to grab the Pokeball first. An Ether. Ether. Ether Ether. I don't know how to say it. Alright. On the hunt for Rotom. I, I doubt we're actually going to get him. I think he only shows up like at certain times on certain days. Like only at night time or something like that. Which it is night time. So, you know. Who knows? Old Gato. That does a similar sort of thing to an Ether, doesn't it? Ether. Let's start down here. I think it's in a TV down here, right? And that next one? Yeah. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. You put the dread plate. Those are, I think those plates are going to be important for Legends Arceus. I'm saying it now. Also, I'm going to save real quick. Uh, before we go into Rotom. Just in case. Just in case. You can probably shiny hunt Rotom, right? I'm not going to, uh, because I don't have the patience, but, all right, Rotom, it's as if it is staring, no, no Rotom, really, no Rotom, it has an oddly malevolent feel, it's, it's as if it's staring, damn, I'll have to look up when Rotom shows up. I really thought it would be there. Don't tell me we can rest in a haunted house. No, we can't. Okay. Oh. The red eyes on this guy. They go away when you walk up. Look at that. Oh, and there's a noise too. I couldn't hear it because I got it turned down, but... This place is a bit spooky, isn't it? Substitute, not bad. Alright, one more room, I think. Or maybe two more rooms to check. Go over this side. Anything here? No, trash can is empty, of course. It's chock full of Pokemon books and photo collections. This is a very creepy place, I'm not gonna lie. What's this, hey? It, it appears as if it is glaring. Yeah, so did that, that painting. Now, if I remember correctly, something like moves in this room when you see it at some point. Trash can is empty. Antidote, here we go. I knew there was something in one of these trash cans. All 
All right, what's back here? Nothing? Nothing? Walk through, please. Nothing, nothing? Oh, damn. Bit of a shame. Actually, now that we've talked to this thing, let's... Let's just do one last check, hey? One, one last check. We've seen the painting. We click the thing as if it's staring. Let's check it. Nah. Damn. Okay. I'll have to look that up later on. For now, though, we'll exit, and I think we're going to call it there. I think that's going to be the end. I'm sorry that that ended on a, a bit of a down note that we didn't get. Uh, we didn't get to catch our next Pokemon, Gibble. It's going to be way later in the game, it looks like. Um, and we didn't get to see Rotom either, unfortunately. But we did travel through the bike road, and we did go to Wayward Cave and save uh, a little friend of ours. Um, and managed to get her through the exit. So, um, still not a bad little episode. Uh, and the next one, we'll be pushing on through into Heart Home City. Uh, and maybe on Twitch as well, we'll, uh, on stream, do a little bit of an underground search. But for tonight, on Twitch, that's me done. Uh, and YouTube, uh, thank you very much for watching uh, another episode. Make sure you tune in next time. Uh, as we make our way through on our Shining Pearl journey. Thank you for watching. Our question of the day was uh, what team in the uh, across all of the Pokemon games do you think is the most formidable? Team Rocket, Team Galactic, Team Magma, all those kinds. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, give the video a like. Follow me on Twitch, LiamLive23, um, so you can catch these live. Uh, as well as being uploaded onto YouTube later on to make sure you don't miss anything. Um, thank you very much for watching. I've had a great time here on this stream and YouTube. That's going to be it from me for this episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.